Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Golang tutorial where we are looking at Golang Viper and how you can use it in your Golang applications. So for those who don't know, Golang Viper basically allows you to read different types of configuration files such as YAML, TOML and a couple of others as well and also types of files like INIs and ENV files as well. So before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to say if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of these tutorials going forward. So here's what we need to do. The first thing is we need to install uh, Golang Viper uh, using uh, this command over here. So it'll be go get and then it will basically be the GitHub repository the user is SPF13 and Viper is a repository. So you'll run that and that will install this repo for you. I've already done this, so I'm not going to rerun this, but let's uh, get started with our Golang Viper application. So the first thing I did is I created this uh, test YAML file, very simple, just a port and a host name. So this will be basically for a MySQL configuration. So uh, Golang Viper is extremely useful if you are creating command line applications or any application really which needs to read from uh, configuration files like YAML files. It's just so that it makes it so much easier for you to work with and uh, just be able to just get going with your application rather than focusing on passing different configuration files. So here is what we'll start out with. So we'll start off with basically the package as usual and I'll just call it main. We need to import uh, two things for this. So we'll import our FMT for printing out and then we will also import this GitHub repo. So that's going to be github.com forward slash SPF 13 and Viper. Then we'll just start off with a very basic main function. So it's going to be extremely simplified on how you're going to do this. Then we can just declare a new variable and it's going to contain our Viper object. So we'll just do viper.new and then what we can do is set the config file. So we'll say vi.set config file and we'll just do test.yaml and then next we just need to read it in. So we can do vi.read in config. And now we can simply just get the data from our configuration file. So very simple, fmt.println and we'll get the port number. So to do that is vi.get int because we want to get it as an integer and the field name is port. Then next we want to get the host, so we'll just basically do the same thing, but now we'll use a string instead and we'll get the host name like that. Now we can actually run this, so just do go run golangviper.go and I put a semicolon somewhere it seems. Uh, no, we don't need that comma, so just take that out and let's give this a go. So now you'll see it basically read in 3306 and localhost from our YAML file without us having to do any special passing. The Viper uh, library has basically dealt with everything for us. So that's basically how you can use uh, Vi Golang Viper to go and just go and read out data from configuration files and actually you could even write to configuration files as well using Golang Viper, but uh, we'll not be covering that in this tutorial. You can go read on uh, SPF 13's uh, GitHub repository how to do all of that. There is a lot of documentation, but I hope this has been a good introduction to just get you uh, going with Golang Viper and start reading in configuration files. So if you've liked this video, please like below. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.